Yo, YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Beam, and today we got a big transformation on my dog. Just stay focused when me lock in with me. Y'all know what time it is. Let's get right to it. So, I want to go in with a number four guard. As I can see, my client been growing this hair for about three, four years. And um, he said that he wanted his hair cut off. He hit me up on Instagram and told me the night before that, you know, he's starting a new job. And he just, you know, was looking for a bunch of barbers. Wound up finding me doing some hashtags in Tampa and said that he wanted to try try me out or whatever so i definitely had to lock him in like come on bro we gotta lock this in big transformations we always lock in easy in. um y'all know that that's just one of the favorite things that i like to do i like to change people image and change them into new people so with this number four guard i want to run all the way through this hair i want to get his hair down to that one desired length because i want to set him up for a clean taper i want to set him up for everything and i want to definitely make sure and ensure that i'm finna give him one of the best haircuts that he could have got fresh out of a pony till a fresh out of braids so my client is saving his hair because he's donating it but other than that y'all know what i'm doing let's lock in we go to that number two guard i got it completely open now after cutting it down with that number four and i just want to bring everything down to that one desired length see him he was in a ponytail for a while. A lot of his hair growth is going backwards. Now, I could have forcefully trained it to move forward, but my client was cool with everything going backwards. Um, just off of simpleness and simplicity. So as you guys can see, sometimes when you cut a guy hair completely down, that it might come out going backwards due to them being in the ponytail for a while. We could have styled and washed it, but we just had to roll with what we had to based on time frame. So we going in with this number two guard and we just bringing this thing all the way down to that one desired length. And y'all know me, when I'm focused, when I'm locked in, it's something special that's gonna happen on this screen for y'all. You know, I've been, I've been all over the place lately, but at the end of the day, you know, I always find a way to get grounded. I always find a way to make it back to my true love. I always find a way, you know, to put myself back in the best predicament that I can do. And that best predicament is to give you guys unlimited content give you guys some of the best transformation haircuts in the world so i want to go in using my flex trimmer by gamma towards the bottom of the c cup area towards the top of the ear i'm gonna give myself a slight rainbow shape because i want to give myself the room and the first initial guideline to help me kick off this amazing taper that we're gonna do today so i'm gonna clear the bottom of the panel now then i'm gonna go in with a number two guard using the edge of my lithium ion clipper and i want to just take my time i'm going up and down using the hilt of the blade and i'm slowly but surely you know processing the hair through the guard i'm staying solid and i'm making sure that everything is falling you know in its place that's what this thing is about man when i'm locked all the way in y'all know y'all know like i'm pretty sure y'all hitting the energy i'm focused today like i'm focused I'm now, like, I'm super focused, so I'm completely open now with my Gamma Instincts, about a half of an inch, giving myself some room, slowly but surely, drop them down halfway here, I'm just playing in between my lever, fully closed now, super clean, now I'm using my 116th guard, and that's uh, halfway closed. Got fully open. Clean. Now behind the ear some, flicking some. Y'all already know how I feel. I got that Alexander O'Neill and I got this booming. So y'all know when y'all come to my channel, man, this thing Christmas. Y'all know it's love, it's family. You know the vibes is there, the essence is there. It's Christmas. It literally feel like Christmas when you on my channel. And it feel like that for a reason because my music is the most important thing. As you guys know, you know, I aim for that vibe. I aim for that essence. I aim to change the game. Stay focused with me, man. It take, like I said, it took me a little minute to figure out and remember who I was I forgot that I was that guy like I forgot that I was that guy so with that being said you know I'm focused now and you know sometimes it just take a quick reality check just to put yourself back to where you belong just so you can get it back together but I'm rocking this number two guard again and I'm pulling this all the way through the hair staying completely focused I'm just trying to feed the hair through it because a lot of the hair is coming backwards in the backwards motion so i know i don't want to overly play my part but i want to ensure that i could give a clean transition I'm just staying focused through and through 
and as you guys can see, type of clean. Let's go in the back, go in with the flex trim. I'ma go up at least an inch. As you guys can see, my client hair grows all the way down his neck, but I wanna be able to get him one of the cleanest tapers ever. I wanna be able to make sure that I can get transition, but I wanna get a, you know, a nice contour taper to his head. Number two guard, number two guard completely open, clitoris panel. Just always brush one, fade one, and ensure that you're using the hilt of that blade to get that transition. Never flat on the head, never creating harsh guidelines. As you guys can see, towards the top of the area where I'm stopping, it's not a harsh guideline because I'm using the hilt of the blade. And when you're using the hilt of the blade, you're basically feathering the hairs through the teeth of the guard, and you want to ensure that all of them hairs get through that now completely open, giving myself an inch. Remember, I said this hair grew all the way down his neck, so I want to get a clear distinction that he got a taper I'm halfway here flicking in and out staying focused all the way through and through brushing one fade one and I'm just in that bag and you can hear like I can feel it right now like I'm getting the vibes back and I got a one and a half guard completely open right here doing the same thing right up under that two guard because I want to slowly but surely create this transition but I want to bring it together in just such a, a, a fashion completely closed with a number one guard now here Completely open. And just playing in between that lever. And as you guys can see, we slowly but surely making it happen. Now with my 116th guard, and that's completely open. And you guys gonna watch me drop it halfway right here. Yep, there you go. And then I'm gonna drop it fully closed under that. And boom. Stay focused. Like it's only one person, and I promise you, it's always gonna be only one person who can stand in the way of being, you know, taking you out of your greatness. And most of the time, it's you. Like it's easy to be influenced by others around you, but at the end of the day, it's only one person who gonna take you out the mix. It's only one person who gonna get you out of what you normally do, and it's gonna be yourself. And at times, man, like no matter what you go through, if you reground yourself, you put yourself back in the position and the things that you used to love, then you yourself start to come back you know and it, you know it just it's sometimes it's just a long journey sometimes mentally you know you do so much that you know you could put yourself in a predicament where you tend to forget who you are and that's why I was mentioning at the beginning of that video I am that guy I know that I'm that guy and with that being said it's time to get y'all some gas so using this side of the head y'all know what we like to do we like to get real motivational we just had a big show at the ct barber expo i locked in with so many other barbers and speaking on putting myself back in that position i went to the last biggest barber event of the year basically and when you put yourself around the people that you influence the people that you made in this game you know it reminds you i be forgetting that i educated you know a nice percentage of the people throughout the whole barbering industry i forgot that i taught people a lot of ways of how to really do this thing and put myself in those areas with a lot of those people like i didn't care too much about being in the same room with other influencers i cared more about being in the room with those people People that I turned to barbers, those people who had other careers and became barbers because they seen my videos, those people that I taught the game. With that being said, I'm back, I'm locked in, I'm focused, and this is gonna be something special for y'all. So as you guys see, I'm setting them up now. I'm using this hairspray on the way real soon. I got my own hairspray that's coming, and y'all gonna really love it. Uh, I got my clipper completely closed. Now it's time to float over the hair, bring everything down to that one desired length. As you guys can tell, I got it down to that one desire lift but i need everything to look flat i need everything to look laid Every, i need everything to look pulled forward so i could go in and put a nice solidified line in so we're just taking our time and we rolling through this thing and as you guys can see man i'm focused now i want to go in hitting the nape area of my taper create my straightaways as soon as i get to the tip of the ear i'm gonna use the corner of the blade and work myself around that curve staying completely focused and we in the mix we in the mix. Same thing here, doing my straightaways on the back nape area, using the corner of my blade, working myself all the way around the edge. You guys could tell, like, it's clean, man. 
I'm using them FX3s with that filthy mob blade on there. And then I'm going to go in using my original Babeless, you know, FXs. And I just want to ensure that I can set in some nice clean lines. As you guys can see with all this hair brushed back, I cut him with a number two. But he slowly got like, you know, a light, a little lighter lineup. And I didn't trim none of his lineup or anything like that. Just sometimes you get clients who lineup isn't as dense as the rest of their hair. But as barbers, it's up to us to change that outcome. And y'all know how I give it up. When we locked in on this channel, when we focus, I give you guys every bit of the game that I understand and know and how to attack situations like this. It's about staying focused. It's about etching these lines in. It's about being very careful, but it's about being real intentional on every line that you decide to put in on somebody's head who got these lighter hair. So just stay focused. Stay locked in with me. As you guys know, I've been that deal. Let's get through this together. Let's celebrate it together. And let's just stay focused and let's just keep Keep cooking up and that's what we doing. I'm going to go in using my Sean Cuts hair color enhancement card, assisting it with my Beam Team Coilers Compressor XL using the black brown no drip color, and I'm going to give it some density. I want to give it some color, but when you using colors like this, they are good bases and waterproof bases for clients who haven't really had them, their hair cut, and they want that real crispy clean look, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some color in there, because this is my waterproof base, meaning this base only is the bottom layer of what I'm doing. Remember, I'm going to stack my color enhancement because that's what I teach in my classes the three level enhancement techniques and it's reasons why I do each and one of these but if you get in the classes you'll be able to understand in a more in depth of why I do it the way that I do it so as you guys can see we put that waterproof base there first and just stay focused and we revisit the same situation with the black brown uh, fibers and the black brown fibers get a hair more of a dense look so when you think about it liquid colors can't build on the hair they just create a nice solidified base but when you use the hair fibers they can build and sit on top of any color or sit on top of the hair or literally a electromagnetic grab to the hair and create a more dense look and with that being said I got a fuller I got a richer look and we just focus and as you guys see, I'm bringing it all the way together. And he's starting to peep it because he never had a haircut like this before. So I go right into the mustache area. Let's clean up some of the facial area because my man got to have a clean mustache, clean chin hair, no crazy facial hair for this job. And as you guys can see, man, he got his head all the way in the air, but that boy crispy. Like, I got him icy. Y'all know what time it is when I'm in this bag. Like, it's scary in them streets when I'm in this bag. Like, I love all my YouTubers, man. I love all my influencers, but they know when Beam in that bag, it's scary outside, bro. Like, it's scary. And if you telling me all I had to do was go to an expo to re-wake myself up to remember who I was, I'm glad that I did it. But y'all know we focus now. We focus. Now I wanna go in using the Precision Pack Pencil, which is one of our pencils on the Toon 45 website. If you want to get one of these pencils, I'll have the link in the description for you guys to get all of my products that I use throughout my videos. I wanna slowly but surely ensure that I'm etching this line in and I'm treating this line the same way women treat their eyebrows. They go, they clean up their eyebrows, they fill them in with any color or any filler that they wanna use or tension, and then they come behind them and conceal the eyebrows to take the eyebrows to a whole nother level and give it an even more crispier look and I'm applying the same steps that I see in other you know in other industries in my industry and I'm taking mine to the next level I'm taking my haircut to the next level that's what the three level enhancement technique course is about it's about solidifying foundation after foundation it's about giving yourself room and structure to build the building and once the building is done it's about beautifying it. it's about furnishing it and that's what I'm doing I'm beautifying it right now I'm on my third step and when you beautify this thing you take this thing to to a whole nother level because now it's time I'm setting myself up for the Kodak moments. We want to go in, we want to hit these lines, smear the line, give it some more of, you know, a contrasted color bouncing off his skin and off his hair. So we just want to stay focused and know that we're able to do, you know, things like this. We bring it together, we stay focused, and we make our way through this haircut because we've seen monsters before. Like, we've seen monsters before. I know a lot of people get intimidated by cutting people hair off for scary lineups. You got to remember, the more you do this thing, 
All of these things is just monsters. We seen them before. We know how to attack them. It's not a fear. You know, and all of my newer barbers out there, I want y'all to understand and know that you will develop these skills. Don't rush yourself. Take your time. Stay focused. Stay grounded with yourself. But also, always keep yourself in the lab. Keep putting the shots up. Stay focused on doing what you're doing and always invest in your education. It's going to be impossible for you not to get the same looks like this, if not better. I want all you guys that's watching me out there as barbers that come up under me or that's a part of what I got going on, you know, to elevate to the next level. And as you guys can see, this is a beauty. This is a beauty. Nasty, dog. It's nasty. I'm just hitting them with the four shaver, bringing everything together, really smoothing everything out, getting them hairs as low as possible. And as you guys can see, dog, clean, clean, clean. Clean. It's unfortunate that we got clients that come in a barbershop two, three years without a haircut. But y'all know who I am. I'm beaming as barbers. It's up to us to change that outcome without further ado. If you was able to lock in this video, please like, share, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell, and let's lock in. Hashtag TBT in that comment section. Hashtag Glacier Gang. I'm back in action, and I'm not finna play with nobody. Let's stay focused. Let's stay on this road. Let's stay locked in. We just ice my boy out. Let's check out the client response. All right. You know what you think about that? Rockin' with that? Hell yeah. How long, how long did you do it around? Um, this time around? Yeah. It was about three years. Okay. So I, I had cut my dreads off the 20, end of 2019. Mm -hmm. Then I started growing my hair back at the end of 2020. Okay, cool. All right, YouTube, as y'all can see, my man been growing this hair for three years. Big transformation. If y'all like this transformation, hit the comment section. Drop them fire emojis, hit the like, hit the share, hit the subscribe button, but most importantly, hit the notification bell to get alerted when new videos come out. As y'all can see, we dropped a banger today. Till next time, I'm out of here. And right here, we had to call the missus. When the missus love it, it ain't even about if the client love it or not. She loved the haircut. She loved the new look that I gave her husband. With that being said, man, God bless everybody. You know, stay focused, stay safe out there. And I'll be back next week with a banger. I appreciate you to the fullest.